Hello everyone, I'm Nung Liu from KAIST. Thank you for coming to watch this presentation on Elastic, a handled variable stiffness display for rendering dynamic haptic response of flexible object, which has been a collaborative project with Ujin Lee, Myungjin Kim, and advised by Andrea Vianchi. Also, I want to express my gratitude to the ACs and reviewers who gave great help to improve this project. So, let me begin with the project motivation. Imagine you're holding a tool like a seal ruler or playing a fishing game or fencing game in real with a traditional controller. When you hold it steady, you might not feel anything strange. But as you start to swing or shake the object in your hand, you might realize something is missing. The dynamic response of object due to its elasticity, such as bounciness or delayed movement. Previous works already explored numerous approaches to render various physical properties of virtual objects held in hand. In case of Elastic, we focus on rendering different dynamic responses by adjusting the device's elasticity corresponding to the virtual object properties. Basically, Elastic is a shakeable and swingable VR controller that can change its stiffness in different bending directions. For the theoretical model we followed, the, def the deflection angle of a flexible beam is inversely proportional to the rotational stiffness of the object, kappa. And in case of uniform and rectangular beam, the kappa is derived through the following formula. This means the object becomes stiffer as it becomes thicker, shorter, or is composed of stiff material. And sometimes, according to the direction of bending, the object shows different stiffness, a behavior called anisotropic behavior. Now back to the device, elastic generates stiffness using four tendons around the device. The tendons are made of two different materials, and by adjusting the active lengths of each material, the stiffness varies. Using this mechanism, it can render objects with different stiffness corresponding to their thickness, length, or material. Also, the special joint structure of elastic, called quaternion joint, maintains the independency between two antagonistic pairs of tendons in perpendicular directions. And this enables elastic to render anisotropic objects such as a flat bar. To investigate device capability, we conducted a series of technical evaluations, and in short, we found that our device is able to become seven times stiffer than its most elastic state, and can change stiffness continuously within that range. For details about the evaluation and additional properties measured, please refer to the paper. We then had two questions. First, how sensitively do people perceive bending stiffness through shaking or swinging? And second, how much does appropriate stiffness representation improve the virtual experience? To answer the first question, we conducted a JND study with eight participants. We measured JND for three different reference stiffness values and found that mean JND is under 30% change in worst case which means user can distinguish at least six discrete levels of stiffness in Elastic's rendering range. Then, we conducted a user study about immersion, realism, and enjoyment. The within participant study had two different conditions, and the users experienced nine different objects as shown in the slide. And the result showed statistically significant improvement of all three factors, immersion, realism, and enjoyment when haptic feedback was provided. Finally, we explored possible application scenarios using Elastic. As in this fencing application, it can generate different haptic feedback according to the blade shapes. And also, utilizing the continuous change in stiffness, we made a cooking application with a batter that becomes more viscous as it's stirred. Lastly, we explored a different form factor for elastic by attaching additional handle to the tip. So this is the end of my talk and thank you for listening.